going to land up there by then. It'll be okay. Try it again. Move the dinghy up. Just in front of the radar. It should be okay. Uh, we will take off in 30 minutes. In 1992, I was the first American since Charles Lindbergh, more than 60 years earlier, to fly an aircraft into the Kamchatka Peninsula. This is a Russian map. So it's like nothing I've ever experienced in my life. Kamchatka is one of the most remote, least inhabited, and most inaccessible places on Earth. It was an extremely dangerous, high-risk aviation mission. But like Lindbergh, I couldn't say no when the opportunity presented itself. Well, we did it. Desperate to open the country to entrepreneurship, their leaders invited me to come in and look for possibilities. The possibilities I envisioned were audacious in the extreme. Partnering with the key figures of the region, we created something akin to the Hudson Bay Company. But keeping their hopes alive in our interests aligned was an endless challenge. We Americans with our can-do, anything not forbidden is permitted spirit, found ourselves leading people for whom anything not permitted was forbidden. <laughs> We're flying down low where you can really see something. <laughs> 